Bill Quimby is proof you don't have to be a co-alum to be a legend of co. From his formative childhood years to the pinnacle of his professional life, Bill and co were intertwined. He served co as an official, a volunteer, and a staff member, but it all started as he grew up with co as his backyard. The old softball diamond where it is now, that was only a block from our house almost. We lived on 14th Street, so we could go out our backyard. There was a little park there, and that's where we actually played a little bit of three on three or four of football among our neighbors. But Daniel's Park is where we were in the summer. Bill studied education and started his professional life as a teacher. But soon, even more professional opportunities presented themselves. When I first got out of college, I was a school teacher. And it was like in March, I get a call to come to the office. And Tommy, the co-coach, said, I need an umpire. I have a guy canceled out. Well, I said, Tommy, I can't get away. Well, my principal said, who are you talking to? I says, the co-college baseball coach needs an umpire. Oh, let me talk to him. So I did. And he said, oh, he'll be there. And he says, I'll take his classes. And that was my first ever high school or collegiate game. Bill's first ever game as an official blossomed into thousands of games. He was a referee for small colleges, climbed the ladder to officiate Big Ten games, and eventually refereed in the NFL, culminating with him on the officiating crew for Super Bowl 19 in 1985. Following his lengthy career in education and officiating, Quimby pivoted and entered the field of human resources. After several years, this career change ultimately led him back to Coe as the Director of Career Counseling. And approximately one year into Quinby's position at Co, he accepted the concurrent position of athletic director. As Bill's professional reputation grew, so did his reputation for helping others. In a very concrete way, it is inevitable if you're around Bill for any period of time, for you to notice again, just how grounded he is in just being there for people. You know, and I mean, he's a guy who just showed up to stuff for people. Um, he's a guy who um, cared about Co, but Co and the community that we exist in here in Cedar Rapids. And if you're around him for any amount of time, you inevitably leave there going, almost challenging yourself. I need to be more like him, you know, and care about all the things that he cares about and pays attention to in life. Just really proud of him, the life he's lived, and, um, and, and just knowing the vast uh, amount of people that he's positively impacted. And I probably only know about, I would assume, a small percentage of all of that. So, you know, it's amazing that I think that's a lot what I do know, but it is a small percentage of all the positive things that Bill Quimby has done in his life. And, and uh, just really grateful that I've had a chance to, to share some of my life with him.